What's going on everybody? It's your man Matt on a Jaffe with Jaffe Cycling here with another episode of The Hot Seat. And today I got a special guest with me, my man Steve Dent. What's going on Steve? What to do man, what's good? Awesome, uh, I, I'm good man. <laughs> so Steve Dent is actually the owner and founder of No Father No Excuse. He is one of the co-hosts uh, of the podcast The Locker Room. And he's also an alumni of the great Norfolk State University. Boom. You got anything to say to the people? Nah, it's just a pleasure to be here. I'm glad you invited me, man. It's an honor. Ready to get this going. Awesome. I, I, mean, I, I appreciate you for coming around with me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so, just want to give you guys a quick heads up on how this works. Steve, mm -hmm. I'll be asking you a couple of questions. While right. I ask you these questions, we'll be pedaling. Okay. Um, each time, as we get further and further into the interview, we're going to increase the wattage. So oh if the ride gets a little more intense. I don't want you to, you know, feel like we came here, we didn't do anything. We good. You good? I'm ready, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get the first questions rolling. All right. So we'll get up to about 100 watts. Okay. Just a real smooth pace. So the first question I got for you is, Talk to me about your childhood athletics. Were you a part of any like sports team? Like you got a really good sense of like sports early on. Yeah, just basketball. Shout out to Burris on Rat Center um, in downtown Suffolk, historic. But just hooping in rec leagues, man. Um, church leagues, stuff like that. Never made high school basketball team. Tried out every year, but one that's successful. But you know, what I mean, it's one of those situations where. Hoop for rat teams, man, um, and really just playing football in the neighborhood and sports like that. I never played football recreationally, and that sounds wild because yeah. I've been like this size, like this frame since I was little. You know what I'm saying? But just want to say I loved hooping, man. I love watching football, other sports, but I love hooping. You know what I mean? So yeah. So I've also been told that you got some of the most knowledge when it comes to sports. Like, from a broadcaster standpoint, have you ever thought about sports broadcasting? Through the podcast? Okay. That's about it. Um, I mean, when I grew up, I really wanted to be on ESPN. Shout out to Stuart Scott, man. Stuart Scott was like a hero. You know what I'm saying? Because he brought the culture to ESPN and everything like that. But um, outside of that, like, I've always wanted to have some avenue to talk about sports or music. You know what I mean? So through the podcast, we actually working on that right now. So, you know, actually having like another segment uh, off the side where we produce more content talking about sports and other things like that. So we're about to really get into it. I'm going to up it another 50 watts. So right now you take a look at the screen, you'll be able to see we're right around 130. I want to get up to about 150. Okay. Keep that pace. Okay. So, all right, so now we're over 150. <laughs> what I wanted to ask you was... What's up? Stuart Scott or Stephen A. Smith? Ah, that's a tough one, man. Stephen A, my dog, even though he be screaming a lot. <laughs> Stephen A taught me some vocabulary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I never knew what blasphemous was, the greases. Uh, I'm going to go with Stephen A. Just off the strength that Stuart Scott, unfortunately, was a North Carolina fan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Duke. You know what I mean? The real, the real know about that. Okay, okay. So talk to me about the, the podcast, right? So you mentioned yeah. a little bit about sports being an avenue or outlet right. on this podcast as well as dating. Right. Like, how did that come about? How did you start that? Man, I've been wanting to do a podcast for a minute. Shout out to my boy, LeRon. Shout out to Wolf, man. He, um, me and him, I talked about it for a minute. But, you know, he doing his own thing in Carolina. So it was kind of difficult to make that happen. So me and Shaq had talked about it. And then we went on a podcast called Society X. Shout out to Shy Harris, man, and it was a podcast about ministry, and he invited me on, and I told Shaq to come with me just to be in the room so we could check it out, but then one of his guests didn't show up, so he told Shaq to jump on, and then afterwards, we had so much fun, we was like, yo, we could really make this happen, and we called Mike, so for those who don't know, Shaq is one of the co-hosts now, um, Mike is like an anchor, and... When I called Mike, I was like, yo, Mike, I know we talked about it. Let's, like, really make this happen. And we strategically planned for, like, two to three months. We added fur, like, a month later. And the rest of been history, man. Three-eighths in the wolf. Three-eighths in the wolf. Man, yeah. I like how that sounds. I like how that sounds. Yeah, man. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about wolf, right? Because you got that wolf mentality. Right. You're the owner of No Father, No Excuse. Right. Talk to me about that. Like, I see you, I, I wear your shirt from time to time. Yeah. And a lot of people always ask me. 
So it stands for no father, no excuse, man. We're a mental organization for that. We mentor kids that don't have their fathers in their life. Um, whether they're deployed, deceased, or just not around. I even have some kids that fathers might be just too busy at work and need that extra support. So um, we started off at a church. Church gave us the, you know what I'm saying, the ground base to do it. And then once we realized there was more kids in the area that need that kind of that attention and support, we just branched out, became a nonprofit. We mentor kids between the age of six to 17. We do tutoring, we do support as far as games, mu musicals, whatever. We help out with them going to college, um, workforce, whatever it may be, man. So we just provide that support. Our goal is not to replace their fathers, but fill that role of having that, that mental guidance and not just in boys and, and young girls too. Cause it's needed, you know, so yeah, man. So, so I want you to take a look at the screen. Right now we're at about 170 uh, two watts. We're gonna get that up to over 200. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, so you mentioned the kids going away to college. I think that's really dope. Right. I heard that you actually drive the kids <laughs> to their universities when they first get enrolled. I've done that a few times. Um, I've done that for a few of my kids. Shout out to Kennedy, shout out to Cam. Um, I have a couple of kids at Southern University in New Orleans, a couple of kids at Alabama A&M. And you know, I've done that a few times, just helping them with move in, mainly for my girls. My boys, <laughs> it's like, if y'all need me, hit me up. But otherwise, like, y'all got boys, y'all got friends, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come and visit y'all. But for my girls that don't have their fathers in their life, they shouldn't be just moving in with just them and their mom, you know what I'm saying? So kind of just trying to provide them with that additional support. So. Like I said, man, we help out any way we can, man. Shout out to my board. Shout out to Shaq, Mike, Ferd, my sister Lena, and of course my wife Shane, you know what I mean? I got you. Yeah. So you're a busy man. You got Very the busy. podcast. <laughs> you got the brand. Yeah. You also teach. Tell me about cycling. When do you get time to cycle? Shoot, man. Daylight saving time messes me up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I could do it when I get off of work. Shoot, now... Um, thank God for this indoor trainer I'm riding on now. I could do it either in the Shout morning. Shout out to SARS. Shout out to SARS. You know, I can either do it in the morning or I can do it once I get off of work. Normally, uh, if I can catch, if it's a day where I'm at the house, I can ride in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Cycling to me is real flexible, man. Um, I love night riding, actually. You, oh, yeah? I ride a lot of night. Not, not right now because it's winter. But when it's warm, I'll ride at night in a heartbeat, you know, so cycling is like real flexible, man. It's all, it's all about the adventure, man. So we're hovering right around 218. I'm uh -huh. gonna drop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up to about 250. Let's get it. You ready? I'm ready, man. <laughs> Let me change this gear real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, we already did. <laughs> all right, so we'll go ahead and cap it off right there. Okay. Now, you mentioned cycling. And I think that you got a really good friend with you here today. Yeah. Talk to me about this bike. That's my You got a Fuji, I got a Fuji. Shout out to Fuji. Shout out to Fuji, man. This is my girl Wu. <laughs> For those who don't know, um, Wu is a movie played by uh, the character um, Jada Pinkett Smith. So she's slim, she's sexy, sophisticated. <laughs> so I named her Wu, man. She's a Fuji cross, got the bull horns. She got two gears in the front. She got 10 in the back. I'm not clipped in yet, but she still get me where I need to go, man. Now, that's what I was going to ask you. You're not clipped in yet. Yeah. Are, you, are you afraid to fall? <laughs> not necessarily afraid to fall. I'm afraid of how I'm going to fall. But um, I've fallen a couple times, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's kind of one of those situations. I don't want to take no type of L's. Like somebody we knew who fell on their shoulders. It's kind of <laughs> wild. So, you know. But, um... I'm definitely going to clip in, hopefully, by March, you know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah. So, this is the part that I get excited about. <laughs> What's up? It's the rapid fire. All right. I ask you one, uh, one for five questions, and you tell me. I'm going to get up to about 300. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We'll get up to about 300 watts. All right. And all you got to do is just tell me either or. Okay. You ready? Let's go. All right, so let's get up there first. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Big or pop? Big, easy. 
Barry Jeter or Barry Bonds? Barry Bonds. Why are you telling me about Stuart Scott? Yeah. Talk to me about 49ers Cowboys. 49ers. It's all about the Niner game. You know, I thought this one was interesting. LeBron and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually tougher than most people think, but I'm going to go with Joy. Okay. Cannondale or Fuji? That's Remember, you got two. You got both. <laughs> I got both. I got a Mountain Dale sitting at home. Oh man, on Canada sitting at home, it's a mountain bike. I'm gonna go Fuji, man. I mean Canada. My bad. See, we don't even know which one. <laughs> I'm gonna go Canada. All right, all right, Mr. Dent. We gonna cool down here. Okay. So we want to gear down. Now I am very, very thankful, brother, to have you here. Uh, always, man. Half a job in cycling. Always, man. I want you to take a look at that camera. Tell the people, how can they find you? How can they support you? So, right here, if you want to look me up on Facebook, my name is Steven Dent. Steven with the V. Not the lame way, like the PH. <laughs> Last name Dent on Facebook. Instagram, my name is Ballhead Reasoning. Shout out to all the Martin fans. If you want to look for the brand or the organization, uh, No Father, No Excuse is the handle on Facebook. Or Instagram is the same, but just an underscore in, the, in between each word. Um, if you want the apparel, like you see right here, no father, no excuse hoodies. Go to NFNE the brand on Instagram. Same on Facebook. Also for the podcast, the Locker Room Podcast on every platform: Apple Music, SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube. The Lock the Locker Room Podcast with two T's. Last T stands for testosterone. That's how, <laughs> that's how you can find it. Awesome, awesome, brother. Thank you so much. Always, man. As always, guys, we thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Hot Seat featuring uh, Stephen Dent. Um, on behalf of Joffrey Tigerman, as always. He low-key trying to smoke me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys on the trail. Peace. Peace.